we know that fashion hurts the earth. More than 92 million tonnes of textile waste is created every year. Recycling is possible, but chemical dyes and prints often prevent this. If you're anything like me and buy merch every time you go to a gig, then you may have loads of band t-shirts. But sometimes your musical tastes do change and you're stuck with these logos forever. Well, one team here in Gothenburg are trying to change that. The idea is that they print the t-shirts, strip them back and reprint them so they can be used again, again and again. The startup called Vividi isn't changing traditional fabric inks. I will get you a lab coat. Instead, it's developed an invisible layer that goes onto the fabric first. Voila. Made from entirely earth-friendly ingredients. This can be dissolved away later, allowing the top design to be removed. What's the cool tech that goes into creating this perfect recipe? It's all about a, a balance and trying to find the, the sweet spot for both the functionality but as well the stability. Then we look into the viscosity of it. We look at the charge of our components. We study the films that we create through microscope uh, as well as the textiles that we are applying the print to. Is there any waste products at all here? When we want to try something, we create the volume necessary for what we're trying. The mix is applied at an industrial partner where it's easily brought into the screen printing process. Hi! Hi. Johanna, nice. welcome! Nice welcome to, to Sweden you. and Gothenburg. Thank you so much. So I think you've got a surprise in store for me. Yes, I do. Today we're actually going to print a click band t-shirt. Exciting! I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing how it all works. Let's get started. The final result is here. I love it. How could I ever want this to be removed? Use it as long as possible and then remove it. Just for you guys, I'm going to take this t-shirt back to the lab and see if the technology can completely remove the logo. Right now, this means putting the t-shirt in a bowl with the removable chemical is then treated at high temperatures and left for about an hour. Afterwards, there is a secret technique in getting the print to physically come off and this should get better as the recipe and the process is fine-tuned. So yeah, this see we have some traces left. So the click band logo has gone and I can only see a few speckles of pink. Pretty good job. I mean, I reckon you could probably print on top of that and you wouldn't notice. Yeah. No. And this would be good for recycling, would it? That's definitely good for recycling. Which is the main point, so it won't end up in landfill along with traditionally inked up garments. And another test, processed more precisely without the delays of us messing about filming, has come up even cleaner. We can get it more yeah, yeah. or less completely off. We are 100% sure about that, yeah. But wearers aren't expected to strip their own tees at home. The printing companies use our technology. People get to use the print and the textile, and then we take it back. With several large European partners already developing their own garments, there is clearly an appetite for closing this circle. With more than 100 billion items made each year, it's never been more important to make all textiles recyclable. And I did keep one of these just for my next gig, though.